All right, y'all. It's uh, what Friday, April the second, and uh, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm gonna get out here and hopefully finish gel coating that roof today. I gotta sand it, and then I'm gonna gel coat it, and hopefully by the end of the day, all I gotta worry about is that hatch cover that I'm building and the railing on the back deck. So. Me and Mr. Wiggy's fixing to get busy. So, Mr. Wiggy, come here. You're missing some of your Cheerios. Look. Hey. There's your Cheerios. See? There you got them. All right. Mr. Wiggy says hi, y'all. We fixing to get busy. All right, y'all. Fixing to get into it. Got a bunch of sanding discs up here. Got my 7-inch sander. The old trusty but dusty BJ machine. I'm fixing to sand all this, roughly 8 by 12. So uh, let's get into it. All right, there's half of it. I've sanded about from the midpoint that I got marked with the Sharpie marker underneath that fiberglass. Got it sanded from the midpoint that way from front to back. Even the front 45 degree angle piece, this side cap down the side, and along the back, the whole left side or port side if you wanted to call it that but now it's time for a bj I got her all sanded and blown off and right when I got done blowing it off I'm like damn it I didn't film that <laughs> but uh sure y'all seen that plenty of times anyway I didn't do I didn't want to get this thing super smooth because you know people's gonna be walking on it so a little bit of texture is good this is how I've always done the pontoon boat decks don't don't sand it super smooth you know leave it where it's got a little bit of grip in it but then also add the the sandy grip stuff on you know on top of it in the gel coat so that's the same thing i did i've went around made sure there's no little sharp fiberglass hairs sticking up that is dried with the resin in it to you know stab into people's feet did that all around the edges in case somebody wants to sit on the roof and hang their legs over the side they're not going to get poked or anything so uh, now i'm fixing to go and uh, mix my gel coat to the gray color get all my crap up here and start the gel coat process i think i'm gonna do half of the deck i i think i mentioned in a past video i'm gonna like do the whole deck all at once the first coat and then get on the front roof and come in as far as i can with the stick with the roller on it and roll front to, from the middle to the front then get off the boat and come to the back deck and do from the middle to the back i'm skipping all that crap i'm just gonna do half i'm splitting it in half long way i'm gonna do from the middle one way four coats and put the sprinkle sand stuff in the fourth coat and when that dries and i can walk on it i'm gonna uh do the this side four coats and put the grip stuff in the last coat i know there's some people out there say no you can't do it that way well that's the way i'm doing it so anyway i'm fixing to get all that stuff together and do that now Alright folks, got all my crap up here, blown the deck off, acetone the deck, blown it off again, fat baby's not helping me at all, but uh, I'm fixing to mix this stuff in this bucket and roll it out on this half right here. So here we go. Alright folks, there's the first coat down. I got two, I've actually got three gallons, but... I wanted to use two gallons to do this roof and save the final gallon of white for doing the white trim. So I was hoping that a quarter of the gallon would get one pass on one side 
that way one whole gallon would get four coats on one side and the other whole gallon would get the other four coats on the other side but I had that third gallon that I'm saving as white but if I had to I would mix it and make it gray but it looks like I'm not gonna have to so there's the first coat it took me about seven minutes to do that first coat and uh, there's trash in it already <laughs> but uh, all right it's uh, just a few more minutes and it'll be to the point where I need to uh, start laying the second coat all right coat number two got two more to go stuff keeps landing in it I keep peeling it out so who knows maybe when the whole roof is done I might mix me up a little uh, little small cup of uh, gel coat and get up here and peel out little leaves and bugs and crap and uh, give it a little sand give it a little sand uh, job about the size of a quarter dollar and uh, paint it back with some gel coat out of the little baby cup but we'll see when that day comes so turning out pretty good old fat baby he's moved about three feet since I started he's sunbathing it's about 60 degrees out here today beautiful weather perfect day to be doing this all right third coat down glistening in the sun whenever this tacks up I'm gonna uh, do the fourth coat I'm already set up to do the fourth coat got my shaker of uh, special herbs and spices I'm gonna sprinkle that in the fourth coat for some grip then I'm going to actually get off the houseboat and I forgot I got one more thing I got to do to my wife's side by side Got to go, uh, put a new uh, steering bar on her rack and pinion on her damn side-by-side -side that I'm always working on. So uh, I'll give this side uh, about an hour or so messing with her side-by-side -side to cure. Then I'll get up here and I'll walk on the, on the right-hand side while I paint the left-hand side with gel coat. That's the plan. All right. Oh, look who came to visit. Mr. Wiggy, what you doing? You happy? That's a silly piggy. Alright folks, there we go. Four coats. And it's got the grip stuff in it. I don't know if you can see the grip stuff on camera or not. But it uh, went pretty smooth. So now, I'm going to hop off the roof, go work on my wife's side by side. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock right now, I think, so I'll get back up here about 2.15, 2.30, something like that. And uh, I'll get all this crap off the roof. And I've made little drips here and there of gel coat, so I'll, I'll sand those little drips smooth, blow that side of the roof off again, maybe give it a little bit of acetone. And then uh, I might do a light sanding to this edge of gel coat right here. That way when I roll it, Maybe it'll help bond. I don't know if it does or not, but in my mind, it'll help it, you know, bond. And uh, like I've said before, don't come to this channel for fiberglass advice or, or gel coat advice. I just fumble my way through this. That's how I do it. So uh, anyway, that's the plan. Going to go work on the wife side by side. And the next clip should be of me up here about to uh, start this side over here. So thank you all for sticking with me so far. All right, it's 3.30. Got done working on my wife side by side. It took a little longer than expected. Got the roof sanded. Got uh, all the other, got all the stuff put on the dry side of the roof that I did earlier. And uh, now I'm fixing to blow all this off. And uh, I've already got my gel coat mixed to the gray color. I'm fixing to get into it, start working here back. And there's Mr. Wiggy. That pig ain't moved all day. He's fascinated with that little area for some reason today. He gets up, turns a circle, and lays back down. <laughs> all right, here there we go. First coat on the port side. I took my boots off. Walking in my socks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, turning out good. Three more to go. I'm excited.
been a long time getting here. Coat number two, y'all. Got two to go. I'm all set up to mix the third. So, uh, just waiting on this to get tacky, which it about is. And I'm going to do coat number three. Ain't looking too shabby. All right, folks, there's the third coat. There's one coat left to go. And the fourth coat's the one that gets the, the grip stuff in it. And uh, I thought I'd get more done today than I'm actually going to get done. I thought I'd get the white trim paint done around the side too, but I'll save that for tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'm almost done here. It's, I don't know, it's uh, probably about 4.15 or so. So, as soon as this tacks up, I'll uh, mix this fourth batch and I'll put a light little bit of MEK in it. That way it stays wet longer for me. And I'll put the uh, grip sand in it. Then I'll be cleaning this mess up, getting off the roof, going in, taking a shower. And you know what time it is after that. Frosty adult beverage time. All right, y'all, fourth coat done. Grip sand put in the fourth coat. Everything cleaned up. It didn't turn out too bad. There's some things I'd change as I was rolling sideways. You can see where I left off. You can see where the new, the new gel coat meets the gel coat that I did earlier today. So in hindsight, maybe I should have did one roll like where they meet from front to back and that would have made it have a smooth transition between one and the next but uh other than that it turned out pretty good and i should have had a little uh, a little bit bigger like piece of cardboard to put the bucket of uh gel coat on because there's little drip marks from where i was uh um mixing the gel coat and stuff like that but i can sand that out but uh other than that, I'm happy with it. I'm fixing to go inside, take a shower, have a frosty adult beverage. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me.